Buongiorno, buenos dias, magandang umaga, bonjour, welcome to my Chamber of Chakras, and thank you for joining me on another episode of Astro Affirmation with me, Bernadette Goko Conley, on the BGC channel. The color of the day is purple, or white, or both, blend. The color violet with other shades like lavender, lilac, or light purple, pale purple. I'm wearing my Victoria's Secret blouse from Itafe with my purple skirt. I added a white sparkly brooch on the bow to brighten it up with white. I put this belt that I crocheted around my waist to hide a small stain on the blouse. <laughs> then I put on my crown ring from Norman and my amethyst ring from Mama. Amethyst is the gemstone associated with the Sahasrara, which is Sanskrit for crown chakra. And I'm wearing this Kara White gem necklace from my son, Anthony. You see? Yes, Kara White is a stone of transformation. It changes negative thoughts into positive ones. And I painted my nails. Pale purple on my left hand and vivid violet on my right hand. It is the color energy of the crown chakra. Our connection to spirit, our higher self and God as well as the collective unconscious. I usually wear my royal tiara on crown chakra days, but today I'm wearing this beanie that I crocheted years ago because Amaranthin wanted to be queen today. Amaranthin is my pretty plush purple pony with a silver horn and wings. Say hi, Amaranthin. <laughs> so instead, I'll wear my crochet crown so I can be co queen with Amaranthin. Just put it on top of my my purple beanie. Yeah, that looks good. All right, after all, two heads are better than one. <laughs> How was your Christmas? As I told you in my previous video, um, we celebrated Christmas Eve with the family and brought in Christmas 2022 at my brother Norman's and his partner Todd's house on Whittier Hills. I wore this pink pixie beanie. Let me show you. See, it's got like a little, and then the little point at the top and then the brim is this pattern that I picked up from Karen of Karen's channel and I made a matching scarf to go with it with the same pattern. See? It's quite long. So you can wrap it around twice if you want. See? So anyway, yeah, that's what I wore. And then Auntie Melly just kept asking me, to make her a beanie also. So last night I started a beanie for her and I'll show it to you because it's the color of lavender. It's a lacy beanie for a delicate lady like Auntie Melly. See, I'm at the bottom part. I'm making a rib brim. 
it stretches out. See, I'm just about finished with it. It's called Lavender Kisses Beanie. And I learned it from a YouTube tutorial by Tamara Kelly of Moogly.com. And I will also make a lavender kisses cowl to go with it. And Tamara Kelly has a tutorial for that too. Anyways, I hope your Christmas was lovely. I'm sure it was. Um, we had a fantastic time. So much food. Todd cooked the most delicious prime rib I've ever tasted. Tender, thick, and succulent with baked potatoes, broccoli spears, and carrots. There was also Filipino food. Oh, lots of it. Kare kare, linuguan, puto, lumpia, and of course, dessert. Todd baked a bunt ginger cake, and there was Filipino dessert like sapin sapin, ube, um, cassava. Oh, so good. Enough of the food. I'm getting hungry again. Oh, and we had a white elephant exchange gift. We had a great turnout of participants. Everyone brought a gift. As I showed you on my last video, I crocheted a Christmas tree hat for my WE we exchange gift, and I crocheted a matching scarf to go with it. So I wanna show you the finished product. I added bells on the bottom and I trimmed it with this sparkly gray yarn and red ornaments and then of course the star at the top let me put it on for you so you can see the full effect so put it on like this and there's stuffing inside so it'll stand up like a tree. I don't know if you can see the top of it, but there's a star at the top. You see? It's a Christmas tree hat. According to my daughter TLC, AKA Trinity Lauren Conley, AKA Church Groupie, AKA Cake the Snake, she said that this was the showstopper of the We Exchange. And it's got a matching scarf to go with it. Oh, yes. It was stolen twice. And that's the maximum amount you can steal. So, anyway, it was Alan who who picked it first from the tree. And then Ray, my brother, stole it from Alan. And then my son Gregory stole it from Ray. So my son Greg ended up being the proud owner of this beautiful <laughs> Christmas tree hat and scarf. I love it. So anyway, enough of that. Let's talk about the crown chakra. Put my crown back on. Yes. There you go. All right. So the crown chakra is also known as the Sahasrara in Sanskrit. It's the seventh and highest chakra of our primary core energies, the spinning wheels in our spine that generates the spiritual power to move and groove and have our being both physically and emotionally. Sahasrara means the thousand-petaled lotus flower. It's our direct link to spirit. 
Here we exchange our sense of self for our sense of universal consciousness. That state of awareness in which we become one with ultimate reality, Brahman, where your consciousness sinks and becomes one with the universe. The crown chakra is located about two inches above the crown of the head, and it controls our connection to spiritual wisdom, universal unity, and true self-knowledge. The mantra I use for the crown chakra is Aum. Go. Um, and the symbol for the crown chakra, here's my chakra shawl, is a lotus flower with a thousand petals. The fully bloomed lotus flower represents the complete unfolding of consciousness radiating like the infinite rays of the sun, the brilliant light of the world, the Sahasrara is the way to God. White light, which contains all the colors of the visible spectrum, is the actual color of the crown chakra, but the color of the third eye, the key to the door of enlightenment, the crown chakra, has a hue of deep blue or indigo, which appears as violet. And that's how that white has a little bit of pale um, purple color to it. So how appropriate the color white for the crown chakra, since it is the color of purity and holiness, and how relevant that it reflects all the colors of the other six chakras. As it unifies the one with the all. The colors of the rainbow that I see after the sun sets at the end of a clear day confirms love's ability to unite and shine as one. Awaken your Sahasrara. Open up the thousand petals of the lotus flower above the crown of your head. Here, is where your supreme self exists. It sits there on the seat of the spirit to see the Shekinah glory of God revealing divine secrets and reaching enlightenment, nirvana. The day fades with a setting sun as the night settles in Yet, with the rising of the sun, darkness disappears, just as spiritual ignorance fades with the blossoming of the thousand petal lotus flower, the Sahasrara, the crown chakra. So, today, Make time to go inward. Find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. Close your eyes and relax by breathing deeply and slowly. Be aware of the rise and fall of your lungs, the beating of your heart. Watch thoughts go through your mind without judgment. Let them go as they pass. Just observe them flow out 
like a waterfall, washing away all thoughts, emptying the mind to fill up anew with kindness, faith, wisdom. Unfold your consciousness to transcend the material world and ascend to cosmic consciousness. Break free of the cycle of death and rebirth and raise the vibration of karma to self-realization and God-realization. Be still. Be silent and listen to the sounds of life around you and inside of you. Chant the mantra for the crown chakra. Aum. And find fulfillment in the flower of supreme knowledge, spiritual wisdom, and understanding. Wallow in it until your fingers get all pruny. Set your intentions for the coming new year, 2023, and feel as though they are already happening. Then say a prayer of thanks with a grateful heart. Today, tune into the energy of your crown chakra by surrounding yourself with the color violet and white. Think lovely thoughts, happy thoughts, and act with love and compassion. Be at peace, knowing that everything happens for a reason and all things work out for the good of those who love God. That's from the Bible in Romans 8, 28. That's all I have for you today. And once again, I honor God in you and me. Namaste.